Oh, this is embarrassing. Ah, oh, there we go. Iced coffee. And yes, I will drink it out of a mason jar because this is what I store it in and I don't see the point in dirtying up another cup if I'm just, that works perfectly fine. That's not why you're here today, but thank you for clicking on this video and listening to me talk about my coffee. Why you are here this morning is because of this. The my Switch Pod review. Uh, a review that's been a long time coming, and honestly, I feel like I haven't done a review in a really long time, so I was really excited for this one, because this is a product that I really, really like, and I have their whole creator set here, so I thought it would be a good idea to unbox this, show you guys what, you can, what you'd be getting in their creator set, and kind of discussing what I like and what I don't like about it. So before we talk about too much about this, we have to get this opened up. So let's jump to the table, open up this package and see what comes inside. So when you get the creator bundle, you're gonna get a switch pod, the switch pod ball head and their cell phone mount. Now this is a product that I have not used before. I'm pretty excited to give it a try. Um, so let's go ahead and open all of these up and see what we've got. Starting off with this, the actual switch pod itself. It comes in the super basic yellow box. But to me, this looks super clean. You've got some pictures on the back, uh, kind of how to use it, different use cases. But otherwise, it just says switch pod on both sides of the box logo on the bottom. I know that there are people out there that think packaging really doesn't matter. Uh, most of the time you're going to throw away the boxes anyway. So what really matters to them is just making sure that the product works and I'm all for it. However, if I can have a product that the packaging also looks good, to me that just says that that company is probably taking a little bit better care of uh, their their product. If they're willing to take the time to put it in a nice box that will likely be thrown away, in my opinion, I just see that as the extra step, going the extra step for their customers and really showcasing that they care about the products that they sell. I don't know, it's, it's weird. I just, I really, really appreciate nice, clean, simple packaging. And that's what this product delivers. So, we go ahead and open it up with this magnetic side here. Now this is something that I'm used to uh, because if you guys know, I carry Olight flashlights. They have magnetic tail caps for recharging. And so all of their packaging looks very similar to this and they have that magnetic side right here. Um, I like it because it just goes with the theme of the product. There are magnets in this product, so why not, why not give it a magnetic box? Flip it open. Got the title here that says made by creators, for creators, and then it's your switch pod. And that's it. That is all there is in this package. Set that aside real quick, and you can see there is nothing in here but this really nice, dense foam. That's it. That's the whole box. Clean, simple, well executed. I'm a fan of that. I, I don't know. It's I always have been. Anytime a product has really nice packaging, I'm a sucker for it, I don't know why. I think it just increases the experience all that much more. So let's go ahead and open up this ball head now. Some of you may know if you've seen my channel, but I already have these two products. So these are gonna be second second switch pods that I've got. I've never used this before, so I am pretty excited to give the mobile phone uh, tripod mount a go, because I don't have this. I already have these two products, um, but I actually won a competition. If you guys remember one of my prior videos, I was talking about trying to be creative with online contests. Uh, I actually won this switch pod from their online contest from that video that I made. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. I'll have it linked right up here. Go check out that video. So same magnetic closure, just so nice. Open it up, nothing on the top but just your ball head sitting right inside. And that's it. So try to get a close up here of this ball head. As you can see, it's just, there's not much to it. You've got that one wing nut and that's really it. You got a quarter 20 thread mount right on top, but otherwise just a nice, simple ball head. Now this is the only product that I have not used from them. 
and I am pretty excited for it. Now this, this is no special packaging. This is as minimal as it gets. It's just a tiny cardboard box that is just big enough. Look at that. Just big enough to fit the actual tripod mount. This is it. The SwitchPod mobile phone tripod mount. All right, so now that you saw the boxes, quick unboxing, really nothing to it. The boxes are so minimal. Now, what I wanna do is do a quick overview of each and every product, just so you can see it, get a little bit closer up uh, and a little bit better idea of what these products do. So this is the actual SwitchPod itself. And as you can see, it is, there's not much to it. I mean, it's, it's aluminum, it's super lightweight. Um, it's nice and skeletonized, so you can you can see through it. Uh, it's got skeletonized legs. It is incredibly lightweight. It's easy to just throw in a bag because it's so slim, and it's nice, great to hold on to because you've got these finger grooves cut into it. Um, you've got quarter twenty mounts right here, and it does go on either side. So if you want to attach a light or a microphone or an arm, any sort of accessory, you can mount it right into there. And it's at a great angle. So you can just hold it out like this, camera on top, and do your video, do your vlog, whatever you want to do. Um, I love it. I love this setup. It is incredibly comfortable to hold on to. I love this nice angle that it provides. And it's just, it's incredibly sturdy. Honestly, I fidget with this thing constantly. Now, to mount something, you do have the quarter 20 mount right on top here with a nice rubber base. So it's not gonna slip around when you thread it in. It's gonna be nice and sturdy. And if you just wanna put your camera on top of this with nothing else, you can. That's honestly what it was designed for. The ball head didn't release until much later after this was well-funded and produced and out to the masses. So if you want to just mount a camera on here, that that's a really good angle for any sort of vlogging needs. And it's a really great angle for just putting it on a tabletop and talking to it. It's, it's a nice height. However, for my purposes, I did buy the ball head because when I'm out in my gym or if I'm moving around, I really like the versatility of being able to angle my camera. I also use this tripod a lot for photography to set up and do some exposures or just setting up and taking a self portrait. So I wanted the versatility of being able to angle it. If you don't need that versatility, that's great. One of the things that this tripod is pretty much marketed for is <laughs> it is what it is. It makes no compromises for what it's intended for, but it also doesn't give any apologies for what it's not intended for. Because as you can see, it's a great selfie arm. To put it into tripod mode, you just flick it out. These three legs stick out. There's magnets in here to make sure the legs don't just automatically collapse on themselves. Uh, and you have magnets, you have magnets in this arm. I don't know if you can see that little circle cutout portion, um, but that is what keeps the legs together. So that way they're not always flopping around on you. Now, one thing I will point out um, is the magnets are not super strong. So if I really, I actually, that held pretty good, but if I move it at all, the legs deploy. And also when they're out like this, I can hold it sideways and they're not gonna fall back in on themselves, but if I give it a nice little flick, the magnets break. So one thing that they designed this for, again, it's not to be a super locking mechanism. They want quick deployment and quick bringing it back. That's it, that's what this is designed for. And you can also tell there's no way to adjust the height. So. Once it's on a table, that is the height that you get. There's, there's nothing else you can do. There's no up and down. This is it. And that is what it's designed for. The simplicity of it is really what caught my eye because there are other tripods on the market that you can adjust the height. There's the Joby Gorillapod, the number, probably the number one tripod for vlogging. And you can wrap those legs around everything. You can hang it upside down on a tree. That's not what this is for. And that's not what I need a tripod for. I had one, it wasn't the Gorillapod, but it was one very, very similar. And I thought it was just a problem with mine because I didn't buy the Gorillapod, but I hated putting the legs back together because I'm a little particular 
and I like things to be nicely aligned. So those legs never went back straight. They never went back how I had them the first time and it always drove me nuts. Not only that, but the legs often gave out because they just wear out over time. They're constantly moving and being adjusted and being wrapped around. They wear out. This, these legs are never ever wearing out. There's no moving parts. The less moving parts that I can have on anything, the better. That's my, that's my rule for life. I like things to be simple and effective, and that's what this tripod gives me. And I don't wrap the, I don't wrap my camera around trees. I don't need a lot of height adjustment. And really, any sort of logging tripod that you have, it's gonna be either this height, the, this height right here, or lower. You're, you're not getting much extra height out of that. For that, you'd need to buy a travel tripod. And I don't know if I've ever needed a tripod to go lower than this. It, it's been nice, it would be nice to have, but I have a little tiny tripod if I wanna use that for that case. I don't want my main tripod to necessarily drop to the floor. This is a perfect height for me. I've been able to work with it. I love it. That's it. This motion of just flicking it out, it is a ton of fun. I love that I can walk up to my camera, especially if I'm out in my gym and I just need to do, I'm moving around and talking. I can pick it up by one leg, walk around with it, and set it back down. Don't have to touch anything else. I don't have to adjust the legs. I don't have to pick it up and then it flops over. I can pick it up by one leg, move around, and I know that it's perfectly sturdy. You can't go wrong with this tripod. If you need to wrap it around trees, if you want something super tiny or super low to the ground, this is not gonna be your tripod. But for vlogging, for what I do, for videos, for just needing it to quickly deploy, set down, and pick it back up, it's great. And one of the other issues that a lot of people say is if you're on uneven ground, this doesn't work very well. They're, they're mostly right. Um, I've actually set this up on rocks before. It was not the safest thing to do, but I was on a, I was on Lake Michigan and the only place I could set it was on rocks. So that was not even and it was super off kilter, but that is where the ball head comes into play. There are a ton of ball heads on the market. You can buy just a million different ones on Amazon. But when I initially purchased this package, uh, I went with the SwitchPod one. One, because I like the consistency of branding. This was designed to work very well with the SwitchPod. And I wanted to make sure that I was getting the system. Again, this was designed to work with this. Not that any other ball head on the market won't work, because I guarantee you it will, as long as it's got the quarter 20 mount. The way that this one aligns up, it looks the cleanest. I like that. I like things to match a little bit. Uh, the other thing I liked is that there is only one single adjustment knob. What you do is loosen it up, and now this ball head is completely free. Not only can I move this ball head around, drop it directly into a 90 degree angle if I'm doing any sort of portrait shots. Um, but this also will spin, I'm holding the bottom here, I can also do the pan like that. Now once it's tight, I, it's it's not going anywhere. You guys, this is a solid, solid ball head. Uh, so we're gonna just quickly attach this on here by, I just rest it on top, and then spin this little knob on the bottom it tightens it up. Now, when it comes to the ball head, I, because there's so much adjustment, I don't really care if I align it perfectly. That's more so if you're just putting the camera straight onto the switch pod, so that way you're not like messing with the threads. You can just set your camera on, spin it, and get it aligned perfectly however you want. So I like to make sure everything is nice and aligned, um, which is nice because this wing nut, if you just pull it out a little bit, you can spin it freely without loosening any. Really nice feature as far as I'm concerned because I like things to be nice and aligned and out of my way. I understand that's a personal preference and most of you won't care, but that's me. So finally, we've got the mobile tripod. And just on first glance with this thing, I think if you do YouTube videos or any sort of videos with your cell phone, you want this tripod. Um, it's so small, look at that tiny tripod mount, and it's so effective. Because take a look at this, you, you just pop these feet out, bam, bam, 
and now your phone rests perfectly in there. I've got my XS Max here. Bam. And it's it's not going anywhere at all. It's stuck. This is great. This is so well executed. Uh, and you've got this little feet, there's a little foot that will kick out. So you've got a little bit of angle adjustment. Obviously not a lot, not as much as a ball head. So if you want the ball head, they make one. But you've got a little bit of adjustment. I don't know why you'd need to tilt it back any more than this angle here. Um, but again, if you do get the ball head. Uh, but you've got that and then it just pivots. So you can take portrait shots too. This product is fantastic. Oops. It's made out of plastic, so this is their cheapest one. I think this is like $10. Uh, it's not It's not aluminum, like everything else is here. Uh, this is just plastic. It's really, I think, just out there so they could fill a quick need for people. So we are actually completely recording on my cell phone now. And honestly, I think this setup looks fantastic. If you make videos with your cell phone, this is a fantastic option. There are there are going to be cheaper options out there. Again, I think this whole kit runs you roughly $135 for all three components, but it's nice. It's going to last you a long time, and really what drew me to it is when I got the tripod and the ball head, I did not get their, their cell phone mount because it wasn't in stock when I needed it. Um, the whole thing I knew was going to last me until I got the full camera that I wanted. Uh, so this is my vlogging rig. This is uh, this is my EOS RP with my 17 to 40 L EF lens. I've got the uh, control ring EF to RF adapter, a Movo Pro microphone on top. Um, I've got Peak Design. I use Peak Design for just about everything uh, that I can. So I've got Peak Design uh, anchor clips on here. Uh, and if you guys want a little bit more in-depth review of this whole rig, let me know, leave a like or comment below, whatever you guys want to do uh, to let me know. And I'll go through it because I'm really proud of what I set up here. This is honestly a pretty professional, I think, uh, vlog rig on a pretty tight budget. So if you want to see more on this, just let me know below. I actually use my camera almost as much for photos, if not more for photos than I do for video. So I like things to be able to quickly come on and off, be as efficient as possible. So I can just pop my microphone off the camera and I actually use the quick, a quick release plate on my camera so that way I can just pop it on and off the tripod. So what I did is I actually took my, my ball head and I removed the little plate, the locking plate that goes on it. I added this, uh, this I think it's from Desmond. I got it off Amazon. Uh, just this nice quick release plate. It's got a really nice knob with smooth action. Uh, it just gets my camera on and off so I can switch between video and photo and move in and out of this tripod as needed as quickly as possible with just no missed steps. And I'm not sitting there if I want to be spontaneous. I'm not sitting there like, okay, hold on. Let me, let me set up my camera, screw it on, make sure everything's good to go and pop my camera on, be good to go. And if I want to take a bunch of photos later, I can just quickly take this off and I'm ready to use it as a, as a primary photo camera. I'm more likely to just put this on my camera and start recording something because I enjoy using it. This whole system I enjoy using, and that's important. I know gear doesn't matter necessarily. It doesn't make you a better storyteller or a better YouTuber, um, but if the gear gets you excited to use it, and there have been times where I wanted a second tripod, and now I have one. So I don't, I don't feel the need to go out and purchase a bunch of different products, uh, a bunch of different tripods. The switch pod fits what I need it to, and that is a nice, compact vlogging tripod or tabletop tripod. And that's it. So if you guys like this video, please let me know in the comments below or hit the like button. Uh, just lets me know that what I'm doing is reaching people and that you like it. Uh, and if you want to see more videos like this, more reviews, I love doing reviews and I feel like I haven't done one in a long time. Make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out on those. But until next time, you guys, we are all in progress. Have a great day.